This is Andrew Lian with Marlin Spike Consulting. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use captions in Microsoft Word. Captions are used to provide labels for pictures, tables, or some other sort of object that you have in your Microsoft Word document. To insert a caption, first click on the object that you would like to provide the caption for. In this case I'll use my picture. I'll go to the References tab and then the Insert Caption button. The label for this uh, could be figure, equation, table, or some other custom label that I type in myself. And Word will take that label and automatically add a number after it for each of those new objects of that type that are found in the document. So in this example, it's figure one. I'll put a space and hyphen after that and then put my own label. And then click OK and you see it says figure one Mark Twain in his later years. I can then scroll down to the second picture in the document and add a caption to this one as well. Again I'll click on the picture again I'll click the insert caption button under my references tab. Now it says figure two again I can put uh, spaces and hyphens after that And again, I can type in a custom caption uh, for that label. And when I click OK, the caption appears below there again. Now, sometimes you may want to move pictures around and have the captions follow them, but that doesn't happen by default. If I click and drag the picture as it is now, notice that the caption stays behind. So to prevent that from happening, I need to select the caption and the picture both and then group them together. So the picture is selected. If I hold down the shift key and click on the caption to select it as well, when they're both selected, I can go to the picture tools format menu and then click the group button and choose to group those together. Now, as they're grouped together, they're treated as one object. So when I click and drag them, the caption and the picture move together. Okay, if I decide that I want to undo that, so that I could delete the caption, for example, or move the picture and the caption independently of each other. I can always come back to the Group button and choose Ungroup, and they're again treated as two separate objects. The last thing that I might want to do with captions is I may want to insert a table in the document showing a list of all of the figures that I have in that table. So I'll go to the end of the document. I do have to type my own label for this. So I'll call it a table of figures and then under my references tab under the captions group I'll click the insert table of figures button. You see there are a few formatting choices I can have here like uh, do I show page numbers and how I align them on the page. I'll just accept the defaults for all of these and then click OK and you see that I now have a list of all of the figures in this document with the captions and the page numbers on which those figures are found. That's how to use captions in Microsoft Word.